What's up guys, I'm BTC. It looks like we got a brand new leak for the upcoming Overwatch Christmas event, The Winter Wonderland. So in this leak, it shows what appears to be a brand new Genji skin, and it also has the dates for when the event is actually going to take place. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe because anytime stuff like this drops, I'll be sure to let all you guys know, so subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss any of it. Now, on to the actual leak. So this image right here was taken from a Korean gaming forum, and then it was very quickly taken down, so it was only up for a very short amount of time. And on it, you can very clearly see what appears to be a new Genji skin. So it's kind of like this ice, snow kind of looking thing. And then we also have the snowflake, which is on the left. This is a spray that is currently in the game already. This was from last year. And then there's some dates on there. And the dates are from December 12th to January 2nd. So this does, in fact, fall in line with what we would expect for the Winter Wonderland event. Of course, it's possible that this could be fake, but I actually tend to think that it's probably real. The only thing about it that's kind of odd, though, is that this appears to be an epic Genji skin and not a legendary one. And Blizzard hasn't added any new epic skins to the game since, I believe, all the way back the last epic skins were added, I think it was the Chinese New Year event. Because once they hit the one year anniversary, it's been nothing but new legendaries for the rest of the year. So if this is an epic skin, it's kind of weird. Like, are they going back to adding epics? Or are they doing something like what they did last year with the May Legendary? So if you don't know what I'm talking about here, Blizzard has a set of rules on how they determine whether or not a character skin is going to be rare, epic, or legendary. So let's jump into the skins here for Genji and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So you have the classic skin, this is the default for what the character looks like. And then the rare skins are the same as the default, it just has a different color. The epic skins are the same thing as the default, but it has multiple colors and some extra detail to it. So you have multiple colors, and then in the case of the Nihon, you also have like the Japanese flag on the character itself. And then for the legendaries here, it's basically anything goes. Like, as long as it kind of looks like the regular character, they can make it look like whatever. So you have all these different stuff, so that's what the legendary looks like. Now the problem is, on that leak for the new Genji skin, it doesn't look like a legendary, it looks like an epic. So if we go to last year's, for Reaper for example, you have the Shiver, which is basically what that leak looks like. You know, it's got the whole kind of frost, you know, cold theme thing going to it, but it's an epic. And then also the same thing for Farah last year, she has the Frostbite one, which is the same thing. So it's the default skin, but it's got some extra stuff on it. So that makes me think that this new skin is going to be an epic and not a legendary. There is an exception though. Last year, May got an epic skin, but it was valued as a legendary. And that's because it had a custom animation attached to it. So this right here is May's Christmas skin from last year, and it's a legendary. But this looks like the default. It looks like it should be kind of an epic quality skin. So here's the default, and then you have, you know, the rares here. And this is an epic quality. Here's another epic quality. As you can see, it's the same thing as the default. It just has some different colors on it. And then you look at some of her other legendaries here, and they're, like, completely different, right? They're wildly different from the default. But then you look at this, and it's essentially the default skin with some different coloring. So this is an epic skin, it has the extra hat and stuff. The reason why they made it a legendary was because it does have a custom animation for when she goes into ice block. It puts her in a snowman instead of just like the regular block of ice. So it's entirely possible that this new Genji skin could look like an epic, but it could have basically some sort of custom animation. Maybe it's for when you use his ultimate or something like that. There's like a snow trail or a snow dragon or, or you know, something to that effect, basically, that makes it, even though it looks like an epic skin for Genji, they kind of bump it up to a legendary by giving it some sort of custom animations or something like that. Now, I don't know why they would do that, though, because the May skin from last year was not really 
very well liked. Like, there was a lot of uh, disapproval that people look at it and they're like, oh, this is just an epic skin and you're charging us a full legendary price and people weren't really happy for it. So I don't know if Blizzard would actually do that again because they had a problem with it last year. Or maybe they're just adding epics back, I don't know. So tell me what you guys think about the new leaked Genji skin. Also, do you think it's okay for an epic skin to be charged as a legendary as long as it has extra custom animation stuff to it? Let me know in the comments. Also, don't forget to check out my Discord server. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. The links are down below. Thanks for watching. Remember, always, always blame the controller because it's never your fault. Also, special thanks to all my Patreon supporters for helping to make this all possible. If you'd like to see what kind of cool rewards you can get for supporting the channel, check the links on screen and down below.